All right. So in this tutorial, I want to show how we can use the Agen library with uh, Visual Studio and C++ and I also want to show how we can write a matrix, dynamic matrix, to a CSV file. In my previous tutorial I showed how we can read a matrix from a CSV file. So first of all, um, if you didn't see my um, latest uh, YouTube tutorial, I will show how to download the Agen library. So just go to the Agen library website. Uh, it's a free library. Download the latest stable release. is a zip file. Put it on your desktop. And now let's create a folder. I will call it YouTube Tutorial. Now you simply need to extract your for Agen library folder into your directory. All right, and you can also rename uh, the your folder with your library simply into again. Now let's create uh, the project with Visual Studio. It will be a new project into a YouTube tutorial folder. It's a C++ project of uh, Win32 type. Let's name it tutorial. Uh, okay, follow the wizard, leave precompile header, finish. All right. Now here you have your precompile header, and then I also want to include and use uh, um, IO stream to manipulate uh, some variable and uh, also I want to include uh, f stream to manipulate files. Now let's include the Agen library dance alright and let's include Agen LU which are required for my purpose. Okay, so Visual Studio doesn't recognize the Agen library yet, so here perhaps we can change it to release and x64. Okay, in order to make um, Visual Studio recognize the Agen li uh, library, just go to your project, uh, right click properties, uh, make sure that here you have the same um, situation in, that you have here go to C++ general and you need to add your Agen directory to here. So let's locate the Agen directory, copy the path here and also put a backslash. Alright, so now as you can see Visual Studio recognized the library. Um, before showing my tutorial, I also want uh, to um, use uh, often um, data um, a variable called the matrix xd, which is a dense matrix of doubles. I also want to use the namespace std. All right. So here I have my main function, but uh, um, first I want to create a function that uh, enables me to write my um, file to a CSV file. So let's create it uh, CSV write, and it will have uh, three input of type constant because uh, we don't have uh, to modify these variables within the function. Matrix, uh, okay, of type matrix uh, xd. So the matrix that uh, will be written is will be called input matrix. 
then we have uh, the string of the file name to which the matrix will be written and also finally uh, finally here I have the precision with which um, the elements of the matrix will be written so this is a pretty short function. First of all, I want to initialize two integers and create a um, stream variable of stream called output data. Call it output data. Output data, we need to open it and uh, use the file name of the file which will be taken from the function input. Alright, let's check here if this command was successful. If it's not, we will return minus one. Otherwise the program will go ahead. So output data we need to set now the precision and the precision will be deep rec. All right, taken from the function input. Now we need to create two cycles, the first in i, from 0 to the size of input matrix, in this case the rows, and uh, I will also create uh, um, another loop within in J, which will be from zero to the columns of the matrix. All right. Now every time, um. So here we have uh, to define what to do with uh, um, the element of the matrix at uh, position i and j. So in this case, uh, I will simply, with this command, uh, write um, the element which is uh, at i and j position to output data which is uh, my uh, file. But here I also uh, wanted to check uh, and that uh, whether we are writing my last uh, um, my last column of input uh, matrix and uh, if so this function will be uh, verified and so um, no sorry here we are checking whether we haven't reached the, uh, the last column and uh, if so uh, I also write um, in into output data a comma to separate uh, um, the element uh, that I wrote from the next Outside the, the inside loop, uh, I want to, to check uh, whether or not we reached the, the um, last row here. And if we haven't reached the, the last row, I will write uh, a return. So I, I will create a new line uh, in the file. When we also exit the um, second loop, I can simply close my file and check whether this command is uh, was successful. If it is not successful, then I will return minus one. Otherwise. Uh, 
I will simply return zero. All right. So uh, here now I have my main function, and I want uh, to um, I want to try to write a matrix to a file. So first of all, I will create an error code, error variable called called error, and also a matrix called A of size, uh, for example, uh, uh, 2 by 2. OK, let's define the elements of this matrix. So 0 and 0 will be 0 0.1. So we have the 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, and 1, 1. This will be 2, 10.1, 9.1. OK. So here I have, uh, uh, I have defined my matrix. And uh, I simply want uh, to um, save uh, uh, my matrix to a file. So. I will execute my function CSV write, which has uh, uh, as an input matrix A, the file name data out dot CSV, and finally the position of twenty digits. Um, all right. So let's check if this works. Save it, then compile it. All right. So let's go to your um, YouTube tutorial directory, tutorial, and tutorial, and here you have uh, we have uh, your uh, program. Uh, here is um, the uh, source code. Okay, um, we are going to um, expect the uh, after I I will um, after I run this program we are going we are going we are going to find a, a CSV file named data out with this content in this directory. All right, let's run the program. Okay, the program exited uh, with uh, uh, a zero code. Let's go to tutorial. Okay, here we have uh, the data out um, CSV file. Let's open it. And uh, as you can see here, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 10.1. 9.1, which is uh, what we wrote here. So, with this tutorial, we learned how we can define a matrix with an Agen library and then write it uh, to a CSV file, also um, doing error, error handling. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.